Again, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Vince Beard. Thank you for joining my stream today. I'm going to get into playing uh, Resident Evil The Village. It's launch day. I'm, uh, I've been looking forward to this all week. Like I said, I had never played all the way through uh, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Uh, I did that this week. Uh, if you want to go back and uh, check out my VODs, uh, I did my first uh, playthrough on PC. Um, started Monday and then uh, finished last night. And I wasn't going to go into this game without making sure that we finished uh, all the way through uh, Biohazard. So, yeah, I'm going to go into uh, RE8. So uh, thanks for hanging out. Anybody watching? Anybody lurking? Uh, we welcome everybody to join us and just hang out and have fun. Let me get the village going here. Opening music is always courtesy of uh, Night Mode. Night Mode Records, which has a sweet list of uh, royalty-free music. Uh, you can find uh, their playlist on uh, Spotify. Night Mode. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go controller again for this playthrough. Uh, I had a lot more fun once I moved over to uh, controller. I tried keyboard and mouse for a minute, like I said, but I'm kind of a noob when it comes to PC. Um, so just to maximize my enjoyment, I'm gonna do this on a, uh, I'm gonna do this on controller. Already came in the options real quick, just to make sure I didn't have to mess with anything. So everything should be good. We're gonna try ray tracing. We're gonna see if, uh, we'll see if we can handle it, see if we have any bugs. Or any blips or any hiccups uh, using ray tracing. If it if it sucks, we'll just we'll just turn it down. We'll scale it back. But I would like to try it with it on and uh, see. Hopefully, we don't have any glitches here. All right, new game. Uh, I know that there's an opportunity in Village to go back and replay the story from Seven. Uh, I don't know how long that movie is, but I literally just finished Seven last night, so it's pretty fresh in my mind. So I don't even think I'm going to mess with it. I'm just going to get right into the game. I'm very excited for this. Again, thank you Capcom for uh, releasing this uh, on my birthday. So I get to not go to real work and hang out with you guys on the internet and uh, play this video game. Very excited. Uh, we'll go standard. We'll go standard. Even normal took me about almost, it took me 12 hours to beat <laughs> RE7, so let's stick with standard. I don't even think it offered hardcore. All right, let's check Long this out. Ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted Thank you, Catfish. And bit I, I'm hoping it's a lot of fun. And I appreciate shy, the birthday wishes. Thank you for coming by and hanging out. I really appreciate it. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child. Warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. 
Jarl's heart as a wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. I was about to say, I have no idea where this tale is going. woman at the store said it was traditional. Is that Mia? Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind, Mom. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. You're a little chubby, baby, huh? Oh, let's. It's okay, Rose. Is that our cue? Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. Did you say something? Nothing. Nope. I'll put her down. Did not say anything. Okay. So I guess this is uh, Ethan and Mia's new place. We got a baby. Where do you think the baby's room is? Upstairs? I don't think I should be checking things, right? I think I should just put the baby to bed. What if I miss an Easter egg, though? No? Once Salmon? things warm up, we can go for a walk. Okay, never mind. I don't want there to be some spoiler like a lockpick I miss or some crap. What, 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 what? They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Hmm. Where's the baby's room? Nope. Down here? Almost there, honey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, she sleeps in the parents' room. Put Rose to there bed. go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh, man. Does this game start with the kidnapping of a baby? That would... Oof. Oof. All right, let's check it out. What do we got? Rose is closed for tomorrow. Oh, he already moves a little faster compared to the last game. I actually like that. Especially using controller. Like, I can control the sensitivity, the pace that he wants. Name, Rosemary Winters, date of birth, February 8, 2020. Screenings, hearing, vision, touch, reflex tests. All results show in issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be approved by the BSAA. Applefield Memorial Hospital. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests. Mm. Rose is fine. Okay. Well, that's good. Considering what we went through, I guess. Rose's favorite toy. Gun survivalist. A heavy firearms. Like if they're really out to get you. Oh, sorry, I didn't get to read it. Gun survivalist. A heavy firearms manual. For field combat situations by Joseph Kendo. Man, that was uh, that was pretty quick. A photo <laughs> album. Looks like our wedding. Some tourist spot cooking in the kitchen. All right, expecting baby Rose. Everything looks pretty happy and normal here. All right, so far so good. Everything with the uh, with uh, Ethan and Mia looks like it's been going pretty well. I wish it could stay like this forever. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Let's 
Very nice. All right, so you know, Ethan and me have been doing okay. They're uh, they're moving moving things along, not letting the past you know hold them back. Good for them. February 6, twenty twenty one. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly, but I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back of Louisiana. Yeah, Ethan, I'm sure you can't let that go, buddy. The PTSD must be crazy. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but we can. But can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much, at least. I know Mia knows this, too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Yeah, Mia's like, yo, move on, dude. Like, let's just, we got a new life. Things are chill. Let's just try and, uh, let's just forget about it, you know? Focus on what we have. Nothing there. You still good in here? Yep. Rose is chilling. I assume at this point in the memory, I'm not probably going to pick up anything crucial, right? Turn. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a little uh, wedding music box. Okay, that's sweet. Runny toilet. Hashtag relatable. Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. These uh, these verbal prompts, they don't stay up on the screen very long. I gotta read fast. Well, the game looks very pretty so far. The ray tracing seems to... Uh, Seems to be holding up okay, too. What's this? Wait. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait a minute. I hear one of those bobbleheads from, from the last game. <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Oh, I was gonna say. A historical look into the architecture of Eastern European castles and keeps by George Trevor. I wonder where in Europe we are. It's interesting, it's just kind of generic. It just says Europe. It doesn't really give you much else, you know? Uh, curtain closes on the Delvey gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Delvey toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the Murdoch under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to have been nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire era has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. So they wrote the whole incident off as a natural gas leak. No, or a toxic gas leak. Yeah, leak of natural gas. And the bakers obviously didn't make it. Sag. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Not us, Ethan. I know we won't forget, buddy. Hmm. Okay. Let's check out the downstairs. Hey! Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. I just jiggled the handle. Jeez. Let me adjust this slightly. Uh, there wasn't any other... Well, I guess I can go back in the room that we were in originally. See if we missed anything.
Do we have any other options here? No? Just... Okay. That's kind of a cute touch. Oh, we got the baby monitor. She's asleep. Confirmed. Okay. What's this? Mom got you another new book? Calm down, Ethan. Child can have two books, it's okay. Oh, that's cute. Three years ago, I couldn't even imagine something like this would happen. Mm hmm. Man, we are, we just cannot let it go. What's this? Miss D and the Paul Boys. Jazz albums you were never able to get when you were young. Oh. All right, sweet. We've improved our jazz collection. Nice. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chuba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, Everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> What the Mia, fuck? Get down! Mia! What? <laughs> is going on Go move All clear Rose What the hell are you doing with my daughter Back is secure sir Take him away I said get your hands off her Ethan no That doesn't look like Chris The game started with my wife being killed and my daughter taken by what I thought was an ally. Hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I got your daughter's results back and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the Doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked, we talked about, about this. this. I, know. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Me? What are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to I take have to this. this. 
Wow, it's tense. Okay, so if this is my little angel, so is this foreshadowing to we were supposed to go see the doctor about the fungal test results, right? Like the file said. So I don't know if we ever got to that appointment and those results got found out by whoever this agency is that just came in and Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? What the hell happened here? That's a really good question. So Mission objectives, eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rose, Mary, Winters, and Ethan Winters. Move the two Winterses to Site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Well, that's what I just read. It's useless. So somebody was sent to take me and Rose. Why? Where? Why was Mia put down? Why was Mia killed? And what happened here? Did we just crash randomly? No. Looks like there's a... Maybe a path here. Like something came before. Where are we going? It's crazy, man. We just literally put our daughter to bed and then five seconds later, she's kidnapped. I thought something might happen to the kid, but I didn't expect Chris Redfield to show up and, you know, kidnap her. Let alone Mia get killed. Now the question is, did they cure Mia of the, uh, like the E-series thing that, uh, that she had in her before that basically would have caused her not to die, right, many times? Or is she actually dead now? Meanwhile, whoa, whoa, what is moving around? What is the noise I am hearing? These dead birds? Yo, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good at all. What are these birds? These birds have been gutted. Like entrails hanging out. Oh, and there's a lot of them. I. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever I'm walking towards is not pleasant. This bird is individually hung with a noose, a bird noose. Oh, Lord. So something must have attacked the van, right? What the hell?
Whoa, 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 that's a very unpleasant sound. Oh my god. No, 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 no. That is a terrible sound. I can't see shit. Something eating it? That's kind of what it sounds like. It sounds like it's being mauled by something. Oh my god. Is it behind me? Okay... Am I being chased? Like, what? I can't even run, really. Is all this just random trash all of a sudden? More dead birds. Logs, trash, wheelbarrow. Is this a fence? Huh. Is there a property back here? Oh shit, there is. It's right in front of me. That is a pig head? Dead pig? I had the light at the right angle, I could kind of see it. Yup, trail of blood to the door. This is a good idea. I'm gonna close, can I close you, door? No? Anything in here? We got a hand truck, we got a dolly. Lots of random bottles. What is back here? Brushes, rope. What is that? Is that potatoes? Kind of looks like potatoes. No running water. But somehow there's still water in the sink. But the water doesn't work. I'm a little perplexed. Got some garlic? It's a lot of garlic. Right? It's like is that like vampire hunter level garlic? Maybe this is Van Helsing's cabin? Beds here. This is somebody's place. Like, there's a blood here. Medicine. Oh shit. What was that? Oh shit. Oh shit. What was that? Oh man, am I gonna turn around from here and there's gonna be something right in front of me? Music kicked in. There was like a something sounded like something hit the ground and smashed and broke. 
Now we've got creaking sounds, spooky music. What is this? Yeah, let's go to the basement. That's what we want to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's what we want to do. Oh, man. Nothing good is going to come from this. Got a old breakfast in now? Old fruits, banana, orange, maybe a kiwi dried up. Let's get some pickles over there. Okay, so there's definitely a bloody garment in this wardrobe. More garlic. Yeah, there's too much garlic hanging around here. This is... There's some vampire shit going on now. There's some different supernatural shit that we didn't have before. Another brush. That crescendo and that music just keeps building. I think that's a... Uh, is that a picture? Is that a picture of Jesus? Sir? I believe so. It's just really worn out. You can zoom in on pictures this time. That's cool. I don't think you could do that in the last game. Okay, everything's fine. More potatoes, too. The potatoes must have some significance. I don't... Sounds like something's above me. Blood is here. What's going to happen? There's blood on the cabinet. That's not it. That wasn't it. That was to distract you, to lull you, to think that you just saw the scary thing, but that wasn't it. Is it going to be behind me? What if I just don't turn around? What if I walk backwards? Yeah, see the music stop too. Something's coming. Something's coming. So I've explored this whole area and there's nothing, yes? Couldn't pick up anything. So I'm just waiting to get attacked or jump scared by something. Yep, good. Oh. There it is. What the hell was that? Run towards the danger, yes? Man, this shit is tense. I need to keep running towards the danger. Please. Please move these things. What did all this? 
right? Something strong and powerful enough to rip a hole in the side of a log cabin. I feel like the garlic's gone too. Oh no, it's there. Garlic is untouched. There's some other supernatural thing that exists in this game. <laughs> 